Well, this is the very beginning of the Michigan road trip. It's Wednesday. I'm riding at Silver Lake on Friday. I got the wheeler with me, and I'm just about to leave Mankato and head east. I'll be staying in Sheboygan tonight, and then taking the ferry across to Lake Michigan tomorrow out of Manitowoc to Ludington. So it's going to be quite the little adventure. I've never done anything like this, so it's going to be pretty cool, but I'm excited to meet you guys. Here we go. Wisconsin right now, pretty close to Wisconsin Dells. There must be some construction going on. Hopefully it picks up here pretty soon, but uh, some isolated storms have been rolling through the area too. But other than that, the drive's going pretty good. The next morning uh, I got about an hour drive up to Manitowoc and then the ferry crossing is about four hours I lose an hour when I get over there and I should be at Ludington around 7 p.m. so we're getting closer I'm pretty stoked Michigan. It's a gorgeous evening. That was quite the little boat ride over. I edited the whole time. We got over here really fast. Man, am I excited to be over here. I'm really glad I didn't drive around the lake. This was super slick. So if you're thinking about taking the ferry, I definitely recommend it. Well, we're driving to Michigan now. This ferry thing is pretty awesome. Definitely uh, going to do this again. Good morning, everybody. I'm on my way to Hart, Michigan, where I'm going to meet Alan. He's a subscriber of mine. He's going to show me where I need to go to get my state uh, like registration stickers and the flag for the dunes and everything. And then I got to put my spark arrestor in. All right, we are pulling into the welcome center right now. Apparently, you can get everything you need here. So hopefully, that's the case because I didn't buy anything that was on their mandatory list other than bringing my spark arrestor. All right, I've got all my stickers. There was a lot of stickers. I'm from out of state and I bought the annual parks pass for the state. So it ended up being about 80 some dollars. I'm on my way to Dune Land behind Allen right now. I just met a couple other subs, which is pretty awesome. I have to, I have to pick up a flag. So we're gonna go grab a flag. Oh, look at that Banshee. Oh, those gold wheels. I want a set of factory gold wheels for my Raptor. Cool. trailer that is so cool oh the truck and everything wow you sir are doing it right oh 
250 R's. That's so cool. A bunch of 250 R's. Wow, look at them. Dude, I have not seen a 250 R in so long, and there's like seven of them sitting here. I'm kind of, I'm not like nervous. It's like nervous excited right now. I'm just gonna kind of follow you everywhere right now. So don't expect me to like take the lead. First ride at the Silver Lake Sand Dunes is about to commence. Today's number one goal and priority is safety so that I can keep filming and making videos for you guys. I've got a local rider with me, Alan. Thank you so much for offering to show me around and do everything today, Alan. This is making my life a lot easier. This way I can just focus on filming and I just wanna get, get my bearings. And like I said, you know, I'm here to have fun, but I'm also here to capture and share this place with you guys. So as much as you might wanna see things get rowdy, I'm not gonna get too crazy. Good, how are you? Good? Thank you. So the DNR, uh, they've got awesome stuff. Like they've got a Raptor. He said they've got a dirt bike. They've got some razors. He said that they have a turbo razor, the DNR does. Oh, it's like a nervous excitement right now. This, this is so cool. I kind of made a point to not really research the area because I wanted to be surprised and to not know what to expect. It's about uh, 60 degrees. I actually got a sweatshirt on. Here we are, middle of June, wearing a sweatshirt. We are on the sand dunes right now. Oh, <laughs> this place looks nuts. It's like, where do you, where do you go? Where do you start? You know. First sand dune wheeling. I can see what he means about the stump zone. He said every day this place changes. Holy cow! This place is bigger than I thought it was going to be. I love this so much but it's so fun to be meeting people and to have the channel help kind of bring some of us together that's all I could have ever hoped for I liked it over there, kind of by the trees, and then, well, and then if we're going this, so we went down and we turned around and we kind of came back by the water. Was that about as far as, I mean, there's maybe one or two more hills? Nope. Uh, where we hit, turn. That's about as far as you can go. Yep. I was looking at uh, the ground. I wasn't looking around much. Yeah. Well, we'll I'll keep following you around. All right. Tires are working good so far. Oh, the way this sand is, the wind's blowing, you can feel the sand in the air. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Oh, I love wheeling over these things. Man, this thing wheelies, no problem on the sand with these tires. It kind of sucks the wind's going the way it's going. Look at those guys ripping. Speeds are picking up. Cool. 
I've not crashed and hurt myself. That's all I care about. Oh, oh. That's why you're sitting here. Yeah. That just happened right here, obviously. Yeah. Were you, were you like shifting or what? I just went to take off right there. I was going to jump this hill. Oh, really? Just snap. Pop. Dang. That's, that's a bummer. Wow. Tires are doing just fine. I can wheelie all over the place in here. Yeah, I told you you didn't really need paddles. No, I mean, but I'm assuming they do work a little better. Yeah, they're nice, but you don't have to you, you don't have to have them. Well, that's a bummer the chain broke. So what do you guys got here? I see a 400 and, oh yeah, they're both 400s. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, Man, I don't know if I've ever really seen a gray Z400. I'm taking these pictures because of you. You're helping me right now. <laughs> I got some pretty decent ones. Huh? This is cool, man. I've been wanting to get two of these red ones together for a while. Oh, dang. And you got the water in the background? Yeah. Sweet. If the rain's coming, let's go rip. Hours that I've seen. I'd like to go up and get some close-ups. It's really cool to get to see another one of these Raptors. It is a pretty awesome looking color. through the wet stuff man oh it looks pretty good i forgot it was there no that's okay i don't care we're getting wet it's raining yeah let's kind of go more in there and then twist around a little bit and then we'll head head back on the perimeter okay. drops are getting a little bigger this is fun in here. again here see how it looks oh it looks good man it's not even getting wet you can already see how the water is starting to affect the sand out here it's turning a little darker alan picks some good lines through here it's kind of fun
Dude, this is crazy riding with it getting wet like this. Yeah. How it's changing. I think this is my sixth time here this year. Holy this cow. April. You've been here that many times? Wow. This isn't bad right now, man. It's not even sprinkling right now. No. I did get sprayed one time from you. Yeah. It was when we were over in the bowls. And the last one you went down and out. You, uh, as soon as you hit the top and landed, I was in the wrong spot. I got freaking covered. <laughs> good yeah we were gonna look for your guys's group so we could all rip together i saw you guys all tearing over there but then you my chain popped off oh your chains jeez but you got a hold of them man well, that's lame he just fixed his oh whoa the sprocket sprocket completely loose wait did you lose all the bolts on the ride right now i guess so no i just saw you so i figured i'd stop yeah definitely Starting to sprinkle a little more now. Well, we'll keep an eye out for you guys. Well, we're gonna take a break and let the initial uh, rain pass over, and it might be kind of fun once we get back out here. I uh, just offloaded some of the video that I got from the first part of the ride. I uh, just gotta keep these GoPros clear and keep stacking everything up. But there is a chance that the sun's gonna come out this evening and I'll definitely be here until the day is done and I'll be back tomorrow. So this has been super fun so far. Gotten to talk to quite a few guys. Can't wait to meet more of you. And this is just gonna get better as it goes on. We're not supposed to get much rain now the rest of the weekend. This is the only time. So excited, man.